Communication. Greetings, Ankesho viewers. Wherever you might be, may the Lord grant you abundant peace at all times. May the Lord be with you. May God's mercy be upon you. This is Ankesho. I'm Abtamulamu, the producer and director of the program. This is a picture of a detention center in Nakamte, known as Jato. When I saw it for the first time, I was greatly shocked. I looked closely into the picture and the faces on it by zooming in. What I discovered was that they are a group of youth. These are young boys and girls. These are boys and girls in their teenage years. No adults among them. We are informed that there are many prisons and detention centers in the city of Nakanti. Even Kumsamoroda's former palace has been turned into a detention center. And there are many others in the city. This is just one detention center known as that. There are over 2,000 detainees in this center. I don't believe these kids committed any murders or even petty crimes. Look at their faces. Do they look like murderers to you? None of them committed any crime. The cause for their detention is the current political situation in the country. The youth of Machauroma are suffering injustice greatly. No other Oromo group is coming to their aid. No other Oromo group is raising their case with relevant authorities. There's no political organization defending the rights of the youth. There are no activists advocating for them. No one is acting as the voice for this voiceless youth. Except for posting their pictures on the internet, no one is standing up for their rights. I have information that all Oromo political organizations were in a meeting with the Prime Minister of Ethiopia recently. Mr. Lent Olata, Mr. Daudipsa, Dr. Marara Gudina, General Kamal Gertru, Mr. Galasadip, they were all in a meeting with the Prime Minister. I wonder if the, they have used the opportunity and mentioned the suffering of this Macha Oromo youth. Mr. Shimalis, the President of Oromia Regional State, did visit Wallaka recently. He visited development projects. However, he said or did nothing about this youth languishing in detention centers. Despite the fact that this is a very critical time when every nation and society is staying home and releasing prisoners to avoid coronavirus infection or spreading it, our youth are forced to live in such confined condition in which they live together for prolonged periods of time, exposing them to higher risk of contracting the coronavirus. We've recently heard the Prime Minister and Mrs. Adani Chabebe, the Attorney General of Ethiopia, talking about their having released prisoners in Filipine. But the Machauromo youth fate is what you see here. May the Lord Almighty give you all understanding of the dire situation under which our youth are suffering. It's not without reason that we are screaming bloody murder on this. It's because we find it impossible to be silent when our youth are suffering so much. Political organizations don't seem to care about these human beings. The protection and defense of this youth does not move the so-called activists. This youth have no one but God. No one is standing up for them. I don't believe Oromo, Oromo political organizations that met with the Prime Minister even mention this youth in their meeting with him, much less speak for them. Dear Oromo Nation, watch closely. This is how our youth are being treated. This is what's happening in just one detention camp in just one city, the city of Nakamte, the largest city in East Wallaka. What you see here is tip of the iceberg. It does not include the similar dire situation of our youth in towns of Gimbi, Nadju, Mandi, Begi, Gidami, Dambidolo, and Shampoo. What you see here is a single detention camp in a single city. This is how the youth of Machaurum are made to suffer. Today, when the world is living in fear of coronavirus infection, when maintaining a distance of six feet from others and avoiding public meetings has become the norm everywhere. 2,000 Machaurum youth are 
sharing the tight space detention camp you see on this picture. Imagine, and there are many other detention centers in the same city. That no one is coming to the aid of our Machauro Moyo is heartbreaking. <laughs> Show.